night, teachers got the chance to open fire today. During a free firearm training session, it comes amid an ongoing national discussion whether or not to arm teachers in classrooms. 10 News reporter Matt Boone has more from the event, which included classroom courses and practice at a firing range. They're just dots on a piece of paper, but for these teachers, the targets represent a not so hypothetical situation an armed intruder on campus. We have to be able to protect whoever's on campus with us, our students. Marjorie Archibald is an adult education teacher who came to the course as a gun owner. I actually had a CCW in Northern California. Still, she says she was surprised to learn about all the laws and paperwork required to buy a gun in California now including the 10 day waiting period and how the vetting that they do of the people that come in. You can't come in here and be angry or a gangbanger or a felon or something like that. The event was hosted by Discount Gun Mart and the San Diego County Gun Owners Political Action Committee. This is designed to, just to educate, uh, really no politics involved. Michael Schwartz is the executive director of the PAC. He argues part of the impasse in the gun control debate stems from a lack of understanding. When we hear school boards and teachers and teachers unions talk about firearms ownership and firearms safety, it's clear that they haven't really had an education. But teachers are quick to argue from their perspective as well. Students have to come first and guns need to come second. Kevin Beiser is a math teacher and president of the San Diego Unified School Board. In February, after the shooting in Parkland, Florida, he introduced a resolution demanding tougher gun laws from legislators, arguing teachers are not the ones who should be trained shooters. We have armed school police officers in San Diego Unified. We need our trained police officers to be armed, not our teachers. Matt Boone, 10 News. There you go. Good shot. Teachers in California would require a change in state law. Lawmakers passed a law last year that prohibits anyone, even people with concealed carry permits, from bringing a gun on campus unless they're in law enforcement.